and at the same time a defensive organization that can resist aggression. The Secretary of State for War visited Germany during the Rhine Army maneuvers and the CIGS, Field Marshal Slim, was there to see for himself how the extensive land air exercise was going. Much of Exercise Broadside, as it was called, took place in the neighborhood of Paderborn. The 7th Armored Division, the 2nd Infantry Division and the Royal Air Force played the chief parts. No doubt valuable lessons were learned both by the forces on the ground and in the air. villages, life retained its normal pattern in spite of the big mock battle in progress. For example, a marriage had been arranged and it certainly did take place, tanks or no tanks. Good heavens, the goose step again. Yes, it almost looked as if war in Germany was being waged all over again. And owing to the bad weather, they seem to have had as much rain over there as we've been having in Britain, accidents to vehicles provided another realistic touch. Quite a number inevitably got ditched or bogged down in the course of the manoeuvres, and the troops received, I won't say enjoyed, plenty of practice in getting them on the move again. Royal Air Force vampires were very much on the spot, here, south of Blumberg, they catch a trainload of tanks and prank. And the convoy is shot up near the devastated village of Haustenbeck. Just one more demonstration of the vital importance of command in the air. <laughs> 